Today I'm going to talk to you about how I would like for you to grade your aprons. You have a rubric that you will have in front of you and you need to reach each, read each category before you actually go to do your grade. So let's look for a second at the different categories and things that are here. We have quality of construction, that is how well was your apron designed, creativity, how much thought and detail did you put into it, the design goes right along with that, did you carefully construct how everything would be, did you put any thought into that. Number of items is pretty straightforward, do you have all the things that you need to have, which is two side ties and next strap your name and at least two pockets time and effort again pretty straightforward the one thing I want to draw your attention to here is every single category has something about working at home uh, you were not required to work at home so just cross out the part that says uh, and put in no additional effort or put additional work in at home uh, although there is a place for you to put if you did take it at home or if you worked on it in after school so now let's talk specifically about your grading sheet that you have in front of you you want to make sure that you put your name at the top I've put example on here for this one just so we know what's going on today's date uh, you want to put on there uh, what do you want to call your apron this one I've entitled Batman Returns because of the fabric. Then you're going to rate your scale, yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. How do you think you did between epic failure, I did just enough, or it's lit, as you would say. Then you want to grade yourself based on the rubric that I have provided. So quality of construction, this, per construction, this person gave themselves a 5. Um, it says the apron shows some attention to construction. Most items are neatly added. Most items are securely attached to the backing. A few barely noticeable stray marks, rips, uneven edges, or stray marks are present. And let me explain to you why that happened. As you can see, this pocket is securely attached, and so that's really well done. They hemmed the top, which you want to do. They've used really neat small stitches to do that. This pocket, however, as you'll see, is coming off and so that's not very securely attached over here on the sides they have securely attached the side ties but it's not very well done it's not very neat and at the top they attached their straps but they didn't sew it all the way across the apron which you're supposed to do so if you haven't done that now would be a good time to do it before you grade yourself also they did use their initials for their name which is fine but they do have some stray marks now some of you can help that maybe your fabric paint got smeared by someone else but that does affect the neatness and the appearance of the apron. So they gave themselves a five for quality of construction. I agreed. This part over here where it says received, you don't want to fill that in. That's for me to fill in. Let's see if we can clear that up a little bit. That's for me to fill in. Now for creativity, they gave themselves the eight. They had one or two ideas used on the apron were executed, but no original ideas were implemented. They didn't do anything outstanding. Uh, if I were ordering a steak, this would be more of a cube steak rather than a filet mignon, and hopefully Miss Gamble is going to ask you to give her a filet. That's what we want. The design, they gave themselves a 12, which falls into the third category. Some thought was given to the design of the apron. The sketch was created, which all of you were supposed to do before we started. However, the finished apron lacked any unique design qualities of the artist. So this doesn't tell me anything about the person who created the work. Uh, the number of items, again this one is an easy one to figure out. Either you did it or you didn't. So it's an easy 20 points if you attached, uh, and it says on here the apron has a neck and side ties. More than one pocket has been neatly added, although you are required for two. The artist's name is present on the finished apron. And again, nicknames and monogram does count. So be sure to give yourself the full 20 points if you did all those things. Now for time and effort, this is a strict judgment call on yours. Remember, I'm asking for your interpretation of this, but I will also add my interpretation of this. Time and effort, they gave themselves a 12. Class time was used wisely, but they could have put in more time and effort. And last but not least, extra credit points. This is subjective as to how you see it. I will agree or disagree with you. Over here you see Ms. Gamble has put nice try. Uh, they gave themselves five points and there is a, an area down here where you can explain yourself why you gave yourself that many points. So the first question here is what were your feelings about this project? Be specific and use complete sentences please. So this person has said, I really like this project. I've never sewn before. I poked myself with the needle several times, but I'm happy with the final result. I really like the fabric I picked because I'm a huge Batman fan. I think if I were to sew again, I would be better at it. So that's just your general feelings on this. I am grading you for the completeness of your thoughts, being specific.
topic and using complete sentences, not just listing things that you think. The next one, what are three things that you did well? Again, cite specific reasons in complete sentences. That's very important. So the first one, I sewed on my Batman pocket really well with small even stitches, which they did do. That's down here and that's a good thing to be happy about. Number two, my side ties and neck strap match each other pretty well, which I like. That's a decent comment. Uh, they do match. Sometimes coordinating your things is an important thing to do. The third thing, I like the placement of my initials even though they got smeared. So you can say some things even if maybe you weren't crazy about it, but you can make a, a good thing out of something that maybe wasn't a total positive thing. The next question is, what is one thing that you feel you could improve upon and remember to be kind? Even though it doesn't say use a complete sentence, I'm gonna expect you to use complete sentences here as well. I could have used my class time more wisely instead of talking to my friends as much. Also, my second pocket is coming off, so I would sew it on better. Those are things that you could do to improve your apron. Uh, you could also include things like sew across the top of the apron, choose some straps that match your Batman fabric a little bit better. Now here is where this person's arguing for their five points of extra credit. If you awarded extra credit points, please explain your reasoning why here. And they say, I gave myself five extra credit points because Batman is awesome. And while that may be true, that's not really a reason to have five extra credit points. Now if you have six pockets or four pockets as opposed to two, then maybe you want to give yourself some extra credit. Maybe you want to give yourself extra credit because you helped five people in the class learn how to tie knots. That's a big deal. Even though that doesn't specifically apply to your apron, those are things that I believe you should receive extra credit for. But you have to explain your reasoning down here. Otherwise, I won't even consider it. So he gave himself an 82. I gave them a 77 because I didn't feel like they had earned the extra credit points. But I did pretty much agree with what they said here. And I may or may not agree with you. Now, the final grade will be mine, of course, but I am also giving you a grade based on your completion and filling out of this assignment. It is a separate assignment. You do need to go by the rubric that is provided and make sure you are citing specific things that go along with that. When you finish with everything, what I want you to do is neatly fold your grading paper. You're going to put it in the pocket of your apron, and then I want you to neatly fold your apron and put it where we put the sewing supplies. And that way everything will be all together, we'll have a nice neat stack, and Ms. Gamble will grade those and get them back to you. Good luck grading yourself. Remember to use specific details, complete sentences, and to be kind to yourself.